There's a big scary monster thing coming up the road, isn't there, Dweez? We can hear it down there somewhere, can't we? Here it is. What on earth is that? Says the little kitty. Let's go and find out. <laughs> so, as the sun sets over the farm for another day, we ponder the eternal question. How the hell does a 35 foot high tree get a haircut? Well, meet the hairdresser. <laughs> Looks like uh, something out of Mad Max. This is a Afron Orchard Pruner. This one's from Israel, I believe. Bit of wild looking gear. And attached to, I think that's a Case IH tractor under all that armour. They uh, have to armour them up pretty well because the uh, limbs dropping tend to do a lot of damage. Anyway, that's how the trees are pruned. That whole assembly up there rotates and those um, three blades spin and just chop through, I think they can handle up to uh, four inches, I think, uh, thick branches. But, um, yeah, this is their medium size machine. Um, they have another one even bigger again, it's about twice the size of this purpose built, uh, called Goliath, but, uh, it's a bit of a disaster designed by an engineer who uh, has obviously never spent a day in his life on a uh, macadamia farm around here. But, um, yeah. <laughs> this one's built on a cab tractor. A lot of them are open. Um, problem with open ones is you breathe in all this shit and get covered in it. But, with the cab ones, the windows just get covered in uh, pollen and dust and shit so you can't see through them. So it sucks both ways, but this is why I hate um, cab tractors with harvesters. Most of them are caged up like this to stop the windows getting broken. And, uh, yeah. Driving into the sun, you can see how murky the window is. You can't uh, see through it. And yeah, she's a big, big be beastie. This one. Uh, what size are they? 34 inch, nearly as tall as me. <laughs> it actually runs dual dual wheels on it normally, um, but. He had to take them off <coughs> to get it off the truck, so this farm being flat, he doesn't have them on at the moment, but definitely have to put them on when this thing goes over to the other farm tomorrow. Anyway, so this is the uh, fastest and most effective way to prune the orchard. Nothing does a better job than by hand, but the labour involved in that makes these the only real practical option. So, curious horsies, what's going on? Let's have a look and see.
So here's why we prune them, or hedging as it's known. Because when they uh, get old and start to close over like this, all it does is shade the uh, orchard out. Problem is my camera has the uh, bad habit of lighting up dark areas, so... I'll take a still photo so you can see just how dark it really is under here. And so what happens is as it uh, slowly starts to shade out, kills off all the ground cover, which uh, doesn't do the root systems any good. And you can see all this uh, dead wood under here because obviously trees need light to grow and you just get all this crumbling shitty dead wood which grows nothing you can actually see here the cut there where I've had the hedger in in the past never doing a full uh, hedge like this one is but uh, doing what's known as a skirt cut. You can see from here it's gone through on an angle like that just so I can get the machinery in under. This one you've got to try and fit the uh, tractor in under here with the sweeper on. It uh, um, can't fit under without smashing the roof and cab up. Anyway, I've got to go and start following up the uh, hedge now and chop up some of these prunings. This is that exact same spot here. You can see how much more open it is now. You can actually see all the way to the back of the farm now. Nice and open, all the, the grass will um, grow back now. You can see the awesome job the um, mulcher has done, mulching up all those prunings. You can, uh, see the size of some of them. It just turns it into matchsticks. The most economical way of getting rid of it all. Well it's um, been a lot of years since I've been able to see all the way to the end of the rows. Um, just because they were closed over. There's uh, 118 trees in these rows and I'll wait for this bloody jet to fly over so I can hear what I'm actually saying. Bloody thing. Um, yeah, these rows here have um, 118 trees and it's five metres between each tree, so um, that's nearly 600 metres over half a kilometre. Off she goes to the other farm. Got the dual back wheels for it over there.